slammed high top bus repair and resto hope you enjoy i'll be doing some commentary here and there just to describe what's going on so when we went to pick this thing up uh, the beam in the front was busted so it didn't really get any traction as you can see here uh, so it took quite a while to actually get it up the trailer uh, once we did i believe the sun was going down yeah here you go right here that's uh my son and i and the next day I took it directly to a local VW repair shop I like to use. Backed it in in their side storage lot area. And once we finally got it to the edge here, we started to jack up the center area. Got it high enough so that I could slowly remove the trailer. So once it was high enough, literally we just slowly drove that trailer forward leaving nothing but this bus super high in the air on that jack and then slowly lowered it onto these jack stands that you see right there <coughs> excuse me then I ordered a wagons west beam came uh, via FedEx my dog got to it first he has a habit of tearing into large boxes it's uh, fun for him so there you go here it is at the shop that you just saw with the beam out and all the necessary uh, cables and things that need to be out of the way in order to install the beam so it's ready to go at this point there's a shot of the wagons west beam this is a four inch narrow beam uh, adjustable four inch narrow beam pretty great uh, quality here we are with it actually drivable again. From this point, I loaded it up on the trailer. Obviously a lot easier. And on to the next step after this, which is paint and body. So here it is at the paint shop that I like to use. I got a great body guy there. And they do decent work. So I like to take my buses there and get them repaired little walk around here of it you notice that front damage right there that happened when the beam broke the bus veered to the right and uh, that's where all that damage came from there here's the after a little bit of body work a few photos of it here a little bit of prep some of the windows out getting it ready for paint the other windows came out jalousies came out the trim comes off just about ready there this is me visiting every day just to check on it because I was so obsessed with this particular project couldn't wait to see it couldn't wait to see the progress little dings here and there smoothed them out you can see somewhat it's kind of prepped already for paint some of the rear tail lights are up there's the first photo there that I have of the spray we went with the original Montana red spray code to match the inside here I am driving it up the ramp now it's really starting to come together here, as you can see. <coughs> Excuse me. Some Sprint Stars was the uh, vision I thought would look great with it. All red with a white top. Down at the tire, local tire shop here, getting these put on. Here we are. It's coming together. So overall, paint and body. Uh, repair on the front suspension, uh, new rims and tires, all new window rubbers all around once it was painted. We also redid the interior, dropped it off the interior guy while it was at the paint shop. So by the time it was out of paint, the interior was done and it was time to put together 
which is always fun. Nice camping interior. And here she is driving on the road once again. Cruising, cruising the speed limit always. Tons of space in these high tops. They make fantastic campers. The back seats are a Z bed, West Valley Z bed, so it pulls right out to a bed. You have your cockpit seat right behind the driver's side. Table. Closet. And here she is all done and complete and just ready for anything, man. Ah, looks so clean right here. Man. Hope you guys are enjoying this video. I hope some of what I'm sharing is helpful. Um, it's not too complicated to put one of these together if you just follow a few simple steps. You know, maybe watch a few more of these videos and you'll kind of get the hang of what I'm doing. And it's pretty basic, pretty simple. I know I'm leaving a lot of miscellaneous stuff out, like you know putting the window rubbers on and um, putting window seals over the turn signals uh, installing the seats and things like that but those are all things that you can look online and easily find out so there's the z-bed I was telling you about pulls right out to a bed you have a couple of storage cabinets very roomy so roomy in these high tops. This has a 1600 cc dual port motor. Has a lot of power. Pulls this big bus just fine. No problems at all. You don't really need a whole lot of power anyway in these necessarily unless you want to go, you know, flying down the road which Again, something I don't want to do. I like to really cruise and go below speed limit in these, especially something like this that's this low. I'm in love with my with my own build here. Wow, that just looks so nice to me. Wow. There's a couple more walkthrough videos. This was the day it was officially done. Everything was put on it, completed. Rear view mirrors, clean the inside, seats bolted, dashboard cleaned. Full tank of gas. So a bus that was sitting for close to a year, non-operational due to the beam busting and just wasn't, you know, movable anymore. To seeing it back on the road and looking beautiful like this is part of the reason why I love doing what I do, which is you know, finding these old buses and just putting them together the way that I'd love to see them put together. And I drive them and at some point a new owner will find it. And it's nice. You know, I'm on to the next one. This one's...